you look, these are other variations and other verticals besides just the Asai Berry. You have the uh, Asai Amazon, Asai Antioxidant. Actually, let's click on the search button one more time because I believe it's supposed to have the, the volume results. Sometimes they don't show up the first time around. Hmm, guess not. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything, but that's kind of odd. Like I said, I only seem to have issues with this tool when I'm doing a case study. Very different. Because we know a Cyberry here has search volume, but it's not showing up anything. Anyways, moving on. So then we could take key phrases like um, a Cyberry juice. So let's just take the Cyberry juice. Let's copy that. Let's put that in our search box right here. And let's search for that. Now here's our search volume back. Now if you look, see how these are three and four word long phrases? These are a little bit more targeted. We know they're all these are all looking for the Cyberry juice. Um, how well this particular segment of keywords converts, I'm not sure, but we can definitely test them out. And that's the whole point. You basically want to get a smaller group of keywords and test it out. Find some keywords that work and then you want to expand in those areas that work. So for example, out of all the keywords that we bid on, if we notice that we're getting some decent conversions from the Asiaberry juice type keywords, then we're going to expand on them. Just like I typed in here. I typed in Asiaberry juice. So then it pulls up a lot of relevant keywords related to Asiaberry juice. So then we can expand, test those once again, and find more of those type of key phrases that convert. And then that's how you build a profitable campaign. Is you take small groups of keywords like that and you expand off of them, eliminating um, the keywords that are just draining your budget without any conversions. So that's kind of how you do it. That's w it's a small, simple, basic approach. So let's go back to the original. Type in a Cyberry. I'm just showing you a few things. I'm not really developing the, the keyword campaign list because it's really not that difficult. Um, like I said, you really just need to get in there and just choose some stuff. But initially, if you're on a smaller budget, avoid going with the, the heavily um, popular short phrases like this. And like the Cyberry Juice, um, that one's not so bad because it's only 9,900 searches a month versus 60,000. And even though the CPC to get in the first third through first through third position is kind of high, um, we can adjust our bids at a lower rate. Um, so what we're going to end up doing, say for example, we'll start our bids at, at like a hundred. I'm sorry, at a dollar twenty. Um, so we have this key phrase on broad match. So it'll pick up a lot of other similar search queries um, associated with that particular keyword, but it'll be charging us a lower CPC because we've set that low of a CPC. The next tool I want to talk about, which is an excellent tool, is the keyword discovery tool. It's also a way that you can expand on things. So for example, let's type in a Cyberry juice. Go ahead and click search. This tool is a little bit slow. This what I'm using right here is actually the free search. So it gives you a hundred free results. Um, the actual software that you sign up for, it's like I believe it's like $69 a month or something, but it's an excellent tool. I mean, just f fantastic. Um, on some niches, it can give you as much as 10,000 different keywords just by typing in one phrase. So that's, a, that's some in-depth, very detailed, a lot of long tail stuff comes from here. <clears throat> if you look here, the Cyberry Juice, um, look at the different, op different options it gives us. Tons of different things here. Some of these may be similar to... Um, the choices that was in the Google tool, but sometimes it pulls up things that Google does not pull up. A lot of times, actually. So that's very simple. Again, just don't focus on a Cyberry by itself. When you focus on a Cyberry by itself, that's where you pull up a lot of the heavily volume keywords, which um, can really, really just eat your budget away. One thing to keep in mind, as you see these down here, I'll go down to the bottom. These here with the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten um, search queries, that's on a monthly basis with this particular tool. That's very, very low. We want to try to stick with mid tail key phrases um, 
that at least get about 20 plus searches a month roughly. Sometimes it could be a little bit less, it's fine. Um, but because we're not putting too much of a strain on Google's system, when you launch a new campaign, when you have a lot of key phrases that don't get very much search volume, it puts an extra load on their system. And um, according to some other super affiliate sources, they say that it can give you a bad quality score. I'm not too sure about that myself, um, but might not be mindful of that, right? Uh, so this is another free tool that you can use. It only returns 100 results unless you want to sign up for the actual package itself, which is an excellent tool. I do use it. Very, very good. Um, another tool I want to talk about is Keyword Spy. This is probably one of my most used tools, n not because I'm looking to spy on my competition, even though that helps, uh, but because it helps me get new ideas for keywords. It's one of the best things. I signed up for a, a free account. Uh, so it's not going to give you my full membership access with my other accounts. That's why I didn't want my email address, uh, my real email address, to be publicly displayed on this video. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and type in a Cyberry, which actually I think I already did. Sorry, I had a rough night last night. My computer spazzed out and I was up to like 4 in the morning. Okay, here we go. So when you type in a Cyberry, it pulls up some competitors. Look, pay-per-click competitors right here. Keywords found, 487. And this is under the paid search category, paid keywords, because they also have an organic keyword section. So under the paid keyword section, they have 487 different keywords found. Uh, you have a couple other sites here. Looks like there's a total of 66 different domains that are bidding on a Cyberry or Cyberry-related words. And you can view all of them by clicking on view more. We're not going to do that. We're going to skip that step. I'm just going to kind of briefly look at this tool. When you click on the Cyberry Cleansing, so let's click on the keyword button here and see 487. So let's see what they're bidding on. Like I said a while ago, this is an excellent tool to really get in and to see new ideas of keywords, maybe things you haven't thought of. Right here, this person's bidding on, I guess it's pronounced Golgi Berries. Um, energy pills, five hour energy, increase energy, um, I, acai benefits. So there's a lot of broad spectrum of keywords that this person's bidding on or this company is bidding on. Um, some of them might work, some of them may not. Don't go in thinking you can just copy and paste the keywords from your competitors and that this returns uh, and expect to have a profitable campaign instantly. A lot of times these people don't know what they're doing or they've optimized their campaign to where it is profitable now, but you can't just slap it up there, copy it, slap it up there, and expect it to automatically be profitable because you have to go through an optimization process just like everyone else. But it's a great place to get a lot of different variation of, of keywords, help you expand. Like we can take this right here, the Golgi Berries. Let's go ahead and copy that. Go back to the Google Keywords tool. Let's paste this in here and see what it returns for us. Right here. Um, its search volume is not as high as uh, the acai berry at the moment, but there is some definite potential there, it looks like. The CPCs are a little bit lower, so if those key phrases, like the and Golgi berries here, if those key phrases are converting, they'll be excellent key phrases to target in our campaign. Because um, they're not as competitive as the actual acai berry key phrases. So that's that'll be one of the ones we'll probably test out as a small segment of those phrases and see how they do. Especially something like this here. Um, so you can see the benefit of using the keyword spy tool. It just really shows what the competitors are doing. And then you can take that information you learned that your competitors are, are using and what they're doing. And you can basically improve upon that. Find out what really works and really just dominate something that maybe is being overlooked. Another tool that I use, um, it's really good as well for generating keywords. Not so much competitor research or anything like that, but it's mainly keyword research. It's called Wordsy. Um, I would say it's in my top five. I, it's not my most favorite, but it's got some good benefits of it inside of it. And another tool that I like to use, uh, and this is mostly for when I'm building out a site and building out an offer and really looking into development, developing it long term uh, is the free keyword tool by Word Tracker uh, and it's the what they call the G-Trends version of it so you can type 